current market is really being held up by just a handful of names. But when you look under the surface, what you see is that only about 40% of the names within the S&P 500 are trading above their 200-day moving average. That means 60% of the names are below their long-term trend. So you're seeing some deterioration in the broader subset of the S&P. So then how should investors play this then? If you just have sort of a few big boats lifting all the tides at the moment. Well, we've certainly seen this at many points during rallies. And what often happens is that it could be an indicator of future volatility to come, just meaning that you have a little bit more of a shaky ground underneath the market. I think the other thing to remember is that we are barreling into earnings season very soon. In just two weeks, we're going to start to hear from the banks. And the really interesting thing is that despite all the turmoil that we've seen in markets and uncertainty about what's going to happen, earnings estimates have not been cut over the last three weeks. And so it will be very interesting to see if earnings are well calibrated for what could be the ultimate impact of the banking fallout.